number one contender to the IWC Championship, now joined by Double M, super genius, 105.9 The X's, Mark Madden. Welcome, Mark. I'm assuming Plummer just didn't pay the light bill. Well, I, I wish the answer was that easy. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is scheduled for one fall with a 30-minute time limit, and it will determine the number one contender for the IWC World Heavyweight Championship. Well, this has been a rivalry that's been back and forth. It's been 50-50. Oh, no. He's back. Justin Labar for the first time since July at our Superstar Showdown. And That's a good looking jacket. He's got his new cash cow with him. Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by Justin Labar. From Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 233 pounds, the submission specialist, Spencer Slade. This kid has the look, the size, the rap. I smell money, Joe. This is a match for the number one contender spot. It seems like it's inevitable that one of these guys will be IWC World Champion before too long. And Spencer Slade is certainly no short of confidence in everything he does. Fear the gear, the mantra that gives him strength, the mantra that gives him that gravitas that confidence to carry on, but if this man is one, he's facing 1A. These men have been neck and neck, back and forth, ever since graduating the ICWA training school. Tonight we find out one above all others that will become number one contender to face the winner of Bolt Nasty and Andrew Palace later tonight. I thought the gear was just to protect his ears. Well, it's also that, but it's also a symbol of overcoming, being born legally deaf, and, uh, not just exceeding, overachieving at that. No question. And his opponent from Charleston, West Virginia, weighing in at 240 pounds, Cole Carter! Joe, this kid's awesome. We gotta come up with something better than to toast the West Virginia. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, from uh, Sissonville, West Virginia, right outside of Charleston, he has humble beginnings, small town boy with the lights on bright. Both these men, Colt Carter as well as Spencer Slade, who are part of the AEW tapings at the Peterson Event Center. They will be on AEW Dark uh, coming up this Tuesday on YouTube. And that's the furthest thing from their minds at this point, though, because both of them want to cap off an incredible wrestling week for them with maybe a career victory. First off, I want to shout out to my colleague, BC Steele, mm -hmm. who uh, graciously relinquished his position at the mic for this match. Second off, Joe, who do you like? Who are you picking here? Well, I, I got to favor Cole Carter because we've seen him progress uh, month by month by month, a meteoric way. He's just recently surpassed just one year. He's only 13 months into his career, and he's achieving the way he is. I think Spencer Slade, with Justin Labar by his side, did not pay off in the month of July when Spencer went one-on-one -on -one with Big Cass. Could it be his downfall again here tonight? I don't know. I think Spencer Slade might have a little bit more technical ecstasy going for him to quote Black Sabbath. That might give him a slight edge, but like you said, Joe, one and one A. Spencer Slade is an All-American uh, in college in football. He won the Outstanding College Athlete Award. He was a football state champion. Certainly his amateur wrestling credentials. Not only that, he has a master's degree. He's got brains as well as brawn. There's nothing Spencer can't do. And to this point, his biggest IWC win was uh, at the end of the year when he won the IWC Pittsburgh Pro Wrestling Classic Invitational for rotation on the Power Slam for two by Cole Carter. That's a great move, but right now, Joe, this early, it's just a transition. It's going to take more than that to keep either guy down. Well, Cole certainly brings a lot of finesse. He's very well-rounded. He's 240 pounds or so. He's the biggest he's ever been. So you know he's diligently working in the gym. And wait a second, our, our shot missed it here live. But Labar. I, I didn't see nothing, Joe. Oh, come on now. You know Labar better than anybody how unscrupulous he is. Who's to say I'm any more scrupulous? Well, I never denied that. 
LaVar feeling his oats right now. LaVar's smelling that same money that you're smelling, Mark. If Spencer Slade gets this win and LaVar can get a percentage of another IW champion, ho, ho, ho. he's belly to belly connects. Well, you know, maybe LaVar's trying to give Spencer Slade that Wardlow magic. LaVar has helped guide a lot of careers to the top. I'm talking about Wardlow, RJ City, Ray Lynn, numerous others, and just taunting, mocking Cole Carter. Spencer Slade, very deliberate, I mean that in a good way, very Harley Race-esque in the approach yes. right now. He measures his opponents. Yes. And that's the thing with Cole, I mean Cole, fear the gear once again. A great elevation on that elbow. It was down. I just feel like Spencer Slade's experience is gonna, I mean not just experience at wrestling, Joe, experience with all the things you talked about, those all add up in a wrestling ring. Without a doubt. I mean, a lot of that is knowing how to position your weight, how to leverage yourself, um, just being comfortable with how your body moves. And look at the flex Cole, whose own body moves out of harm's way. Rear waist lock, Spencer elbows free. I think it would be who Cole to make this a quicker tempo or wide open match. I think so too. I think so too. Right now, it's too physical for yeah. Cole. Cole got to make it a bit more of a track meet. To your point, uh, Colt Carter uh, ran cross country, ran track. He did Spartan races, he, you know, these 15 mile long obstacle courses. He he can go. The longer this, I don't want to say the longer this matchup goes, the more it'll favor Colt because they both have incredible resiliency. But the quicker tempo it is, I think Cole can adjust on the fly. Well, in terms of these guys making the bigger time, as you mentioned, they both appeared at the AEW TV table. They both look the part, and that's very important. Mm -hmm. But matches like this, Joe, are where the rubber meet the road. Exactly. A desperation overhead suplex by Cole Carter gives himself some distance. Often with distance can come opportunity. We'll see how Cole can follow up. Didn't Lamar used to wear a hat? He used to wear Hat. He used to wear some. He should wear a hat. Obnoxious shoes. I mean, his head done grown through his head. For God's sakes! It's a close lie by Cole Carter. Maybe he'll need a hat to hide his shame if Cole Carter keeps on offense. Right, look, Spencer trying to sh slow things down. Shut it down. Again. What a move! Thunderbomb by Cole Carter. The shoulders are down in ear fall. Wow, now I'm wondering how long this is going to go because they've both taken a lot out of each other. But as you mentioned, they both have such excellent resilience. This could end yeah. in 30 seconds. It could end in, what's what's the time limit, Joe? I, I'm not sure about the time limit, but they could go the duration for sure. And then we wouldn't have a number one contender. Then what would happen? Sudden death, like dodgeball. <laughs> Gold Carter said Spencer for the ride. As the break's on. Spencer does not want anything to do with the high tempo affair. He wants to slow it down. Oh! Cole not going to let it happen. Watch Carter overhead! Tope, con Hilo, down goes Spencer, and down goes LaBar. Look at the adrenaline. Uh, Cole Carter popping right up. LaBar on the deck. Spencer Slade on the deck. I think once Cole finishes growing into himself, there's not going to be anything he can't do. You're Going upstairs. He reminds me so much of a Von Eric. Such an actual athlete. Spreads his butter, but puts it reversed. He rolled through and almost beat him. I like that Von Eric comparison. And Spencer is sensing doom, trying to finish this thing off. Right, Fireman carry slam countered. Carter Cutter countered. Open overhead. Cole with almost a version of Ultimo Dragon to Sai DDT is not enough. No. You know how the guardrails here are real far from this from the ring? Yeah. Well, it wasn't quite as far last the other night, Wednesday at AEW, because I ate a guardrail. Yeah. When uh, when Sammy Guevara ripped whipped Luther into me. That was really pleasant. I'll be suing Tony Khan. Oh, I thought you were gonna sue Sammy Guevara. I jumped no, on that there. Right? I like Sammy. I like Tony too, but he has the money. That's <laughs> talking about those scruples again. Spencer Slade picking up Cole Carter who able to uh, wrestle himself free. Paddle counter roll attempt here. Can he get the weight overhead? Oh, Spencer pulls him right back, looking for that choke. Looking for that choke, but he couldn't grab onto the body. That these, was inches these, away from here. These guys are going from point A to almost point B. That's what makes it such a tough match because he got the hook of the leg of the slam, but an ear fall again. Every guy, both these guys have a counter for whatever the other guy does. 
And that speaks to how well they know each other. I've lost count of how many times these men have met. Four or five times. Exactly, over the past exactly, year. Joe. And, and every time one gets a win, the other comes back looking for more. But we're hoping to settle it once and for all here tonight. There's certainly a healthy contempt between the two, isn't there? Reminds me of years gone by. How about uh, an 18-year-old Jason Gorey and DJZ, Joaquin Wilde, had a similar rivalry. Yep. When they wanted to be in the top of the class in the mid-2000s. Oh, what a powerbomb counter. Over the shoulders, no. Tell you what, that was closer than anything we've had. He had his arms pinned with his with his with his boots. That was that was close. Well, Barr with some last-minute words of wisdom. Maybe he saw something that Spencer didn't. And Spencer does not leave his feet that often. Round and pound, and that may be why. Cole with a jumping knee. Dazing Spencer with a knock of the open X. Wow. But Cole doesn't have enough to follow through with the cover. Now he does. Two, no. It's not his fault because he's beat up and fatigued, but by the time he hesitated to get to the cover, yeah. the cover was gone. Could that have been it had Cole been able to follow through immediately? What a match, though. These guys are great athletes, and it's living up to its billing. And whoever wins this matchup, Palace or Bolt, like Carter Cutter countered. Spencer with a duck. Got the cut enough time. Spencer gets folded up. Pulls the number one contender now. Tell you what, I'm looking forward to that match between Palace and Bulk too. Yeah. I feel like it's Bulk's time, Joe. I think a lot of these fans agree that Palace is one of the most tenacious champions we've ever seen. Cool. Carter went 450, tried to land on his feet, but couldn't. And when you land on your feet after 450, you're risking your knees, yeah. too. And I think he might have not done much damage, but got a twinge there. Here we go. Oh! oh. Neckbreaker. And this could be enough. Spencer got all the torque he needed there on a near fall. Another thing, Mark, just to point out, when you do that 450 and you're 240 pounds, yep, yep. that's much different than Hoover Jude Guerrero doing it. Yep. So, you know, the body control wasn't there. Spencer follows through. But, Mark, much like we talked about with Cole, it's Spencer who took a few extra seconds to follow up. Yeah, well, that's what fatigue does. Your naked choke. Cole slips out the back door. Two count only. If I had to predict right now, this match won't be won necessarily by a finishing move. It'll be won by a counter. I think it's a very good assessment. TKO by Carter. Wow, this is a physical confrontation. You can see Cole still does that. And maybe that knee damage you were talking about from yep, Landon yep, Spears yep. 450. I hope Bobby Eaton's watching, Joe. These guys are going up top all the time. And he got the 450 that time. Cole got it. Could this be? Oh, damn it, Lapar. The stain on the underwear of life strikes again. Uh, see, I think you're overreacting. Overreacting? The match is over. No, it wasn't. It, it kind of too. Justin Labar earning his money here tonight. Well, see, now the referee's wasting too much time with Labar. Hey, Spencer went downstairs. Cole Carter never saw it coming, and Spencer hits that air raid crash. That might be it, Joe. Oh, Cole's limp. Come on. What? Cole still got something left. Slade can't believe it. Cannot believe it, Joe. Slade is incredulous, he's indignant that Cole would dare kick out and continue to fight. I think he's more surprised than anything. Uh, yeah, Spencer wants to humiliate Cole, punish him for doing that. Oh, he's just mad now, he's yeah. just mad. He thought he had it won there. Wait, Spencer went to pick the ankle, but Cole got the ankle of Spencer. This is one of Spencer's signature moves. Yeah, but that means he's going to know how to get out of it, too. And Cole's not applying it polish. There you go. And the roll through, but puts the brakes on. And Spencer hits the official. Accident, absolute accident, Joe. I agree, but it, it still creates the same issue. Ankle lock now. Cole's got a scissors on that leg, that grapevine. Spencer's got nowhere to go. Oh, well, it, what, what is Labar doing? What is Labar? Is that Labar? Labar took a stupid jacket off. Maybe he thought that would confuse Cole Carter. I went, what the hell did Spencer just hit Cole with? Spencer had something in his hand, he put down his trunks. The air raid crash again. That's gotta do it, that's gotta do it. I don't know what Spencer had, but obviously this is premeditated Spencer's the number one contender. Well, who is your winner and the number one contender for the IW?
WC World Heavyweight Championship, Spencer Slade. Here's what I take away from that, Joe. First off, Spencer Slade's brilliant. He's a great competitor. Lamar's a little sneaky, I give you that. Cole Carter might need some help. Cole Carter might need to make this a situation where it's not two on one. I don't know who's available, but he might want to look into that because, let's be honest, the bar's interference decided the match, period. The That's distraction right. and then the foreign object, whatever it was, very well hidden, I don't know, but, but the, 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 what counts is that Spencer Slade won. Spencer Slade will be watching intently as Andrew Palace defended the IWC Championship against Bolt Nasty. Cole Carter had that matchup won on two separate situations. Two separate instances, LaBar the difference maker both times, and Spencer Slade already full of himself, already believes it's his birthright to be on top of the card. He has a chance to put his money where his mouth is, coming up very, very soon, but no matter who comes out later on, it's gonna be a tough test. Any, uh, well, you, you called it, you think it's Bolt Nasty's time. Well, um, no, I, I don't wanna make that seem like I think Andrew Palace's time is over, but I think Bolt Nasty is primed and poised to take that title I just think bigger is better, and bigger is coming back in pro wrestling, Joe. We will certainly find out later tonight. Uh, we thank you very much, Mark, for joining us and, and lending your expertise to the two most rising shooting stars in all of Pittsburgh professional wrestling. Wouldn't have missed it, 